Hi guys, just a short video uh, to show how to mark your lines up and get fishing on that money every single time. Just my way of doing it. First things first, always make sure when you swim, you know what's around you. Don't position your beard behind you. So when you come for cast, when you chuck out, all of a sudden you realise, oh I'm going to struggle now with my beard there, so I'm going to move three foot there next time I cast. If you've clipped up, you ain't going to be back on that spot. So always find a spot that you're going to be able to cast from all the time in your swim. Make sure you know where it is and always go back to that same spot all the time. Not three foot forward, not three foot back. Same spot every time. The way I do it is, I don't use a marker very often these days. I know where I'm looking at. So if you've been lagging around, you know where rough you're going to be. Quick chuck out. Stop feather your line, stop your rod down, feel the donk. Right, deep, about 20 foot deep. There we go. So now I'm, I'm happy with that. It's donk on the floor. So what I'm going to do, 45 degrees. Take some of this elastic. This is actually from a needle workshop. I find this one of the best stuff I've ever used. And it comes off in mega easy as well when you want it to. I actually got this idea off a friend. Um, so thank you for that. <laughs> so what you do, take a little piece of elastic. If you want to have a, quick, a closer look at this. The way I do is I don't mark it up down there by your reel or by your eye. I mark mine on my spigot because I know every single time all three rods are there. It doesn't interfere with your bobbins or anything like that being elastic. One, two, three, four. Just a water knot, slip knot. Take off your tag ends. There we go. And just adjust that right in the middle of your, your spigot there. Okay? While you've done that, as soon as you put that on your you know, spigot, just pop it on your clip. So now we're fishing. Reel your lead in. Once you've got your lead in your hand, remember again, keep it in the same spot. Alright, keep it in the same spot. Back to your lead, hit the clip, pendulum over, keep your rod at the 45 degrees roughly. Bang. Same on the money, every single time, same again. The line clips on the spigot, you're on the reel clip, you're fishing, take yours off, take your barbings off and away you go. So next time, you've had a run, you cast out or use your line, uh, line steps over whichever you prefer to use. I personally chuck mine in a different direction. Wind it in again. So your line clip comes back down to your spigot. There. On the spigot again. Line clip on. So we're exactly the same system we were when we started with, whether it be 12 hours ago, 36 hours ago, whatever. Wind in. And you're ready for your next chuck again then. Once you've got that in your hand. That's back in your hand, you're ready to rechuck, ready for the next fish, you're on the money.